So I don't normally do this, but I feel like I have to uh, in regards to this video that was put out from Review Tech USA. And it's nothing against Rich, because uh, I, I am subscribed to his channel. I can't, I don't, I don't watch all his videos, uh, specifically because his intros make me feel uncomfortable. Uh, yeah, like, he does this very weird bit in the beginning of his videos that they, they, they're very weird and they borderline uncomfortable. But, that aside, I do watch his videos for certain topics that interest me. And sometimes he has good takes on them, sometimes they're just complain videos. Uh, and this past video that he did that I'm addressing is one of those videos where he just complains and this light is flickering. And so I wanted to address this video really quick. So this video that he titled, the uh, Sony is making you pay $70 for a 1080p PS5 game, is basically a video where he's complaining about Returnal. All right, he's complaining about this game right here, Returnal. Uh, and the thing is that this is probably one of the most out of touch complain videos that I've seen him make. Uh, I'm sure there's other ones that are more out of touch than this one, but uh, this definitely is one of those that he's a little out of touch on it. Now he does have a PS5 and he does have an Xbox uh, Series X. But he goes to, to complain that this is a game that it's native 1080p and upscaled to 4k which it is uh and honestly i personally i don't have a problem with that and the reason why i don't have a problem with that is because most gamers will tell you that playing shooting games or shooters such as this one they would prefer to play it at 1080 with the highest frame rates possible or play it at 1440p with the highest frame rates possible uh, anything higher than that uh you know going to 4k uh, it's not it's not really necessary especially considering how it's going to reduce frame rates it's the same thing on pc the higher resolution you go higher fidelity you go then the less frame rates that you're going to get uh and the thing is that on this video in particular rich rich contradicts himself he goes and says that you know he's complaining that returnal uh you know is a 1080p resolution game native but then he also says that he doesn't care about resolution in games it's one or the other rich you can't you, you can't do both either you're going to complain about it because you care about it or you're not going to complain about it because you don't care about it you can't do both it's one or the other and the thing is about this game when it comes to current gen you know new gen ps5 xbox series x uh when it comes to games on, on, new, on current gen systems, it's not solely about resolution. Now, I do agree with the fact that he, he stated that the game should have a performance mode and a fidelity mode. I 100% agree with that. This game should have a performance mode and a fidelity mode. Uh, in fact, the first thing that I said when I turned the game on is that I wish the game had the option to have a fidelity or performance mode. Uh, it doesn't. Most games do. Okay, most of the PS5 games will give you that option. Um, but also to take into con uh, contrast, uh, let's look at PS5 games or PS4 games that have been upgraded to PS5 games, such as Borderlands 3, for example. That Borderlands 3, if you run it on performance mode, guess what? It runs at 1080p, 120 frames per second. <laughs> let's look at uh, Control. Control the PS5 version. If you run it at performance mode, it runs at 60 FPS, where if you run at fidelity mode, it runs at 30 FPS. And it it looks beautiful, but it runs like crap at 30 FPS. Uh, same thing, uh, Dark Souls, right? So now if, if we, I'm not, I'm sorry, Demon Souls. If we look at Demon Souls, Demon Souls, uh, if you put it on fidelity mode, runs at 30 FPS and it runs like crap. If you put it on performance mode, it runs at 60 FPS and it's very nice to play. So that would be the same thing on this regard. If you run it at, if there was an option, I feel like fidelity mode would run at 30 FPS and 30 FPS in a game like this just doesn't feel good. Uh, try playing control on PS4. It runs like utter dog shit. Um, and, and that's why I was glad when the PS5 upgrade released. Control was, and the thing is like, this game plays very similar to control. Okay, and that's another thing too is Rich 
hasn't played this game. He, he said himself, he has no interest in this game. Well, if you have no interest in this game and you don't play this game, don't complain about this game. Okay? Uh, that that's a big th that's a big deal. Like if if you want to complain about something, play it and then complain about it. I have some complaints about this game. Uh, my biggest complaint about this game would be the the lack of a save feature because you reach certain checkpoints and stuff like that, and you you spend hours in the game, and if you gotta go do something, you can't save. So you put it on rest mode, and God forbid your power doesn't go out. You know, like that's 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 the my complaint on it. You know, it's it's one of those things where it's like it needs a, a save mode. But to complain about the resolution, come on. We've been paying $60 for games since back Sega Genesis SNES. You know, like that's that's not something that's that surprising. Uh, $70, you know, I, I'm not happy paying $70, but this game, I get my money's worth out of it. Because the 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 constant replayability on this game, and I've already sunk about maybe 15, 20 hours in this game. I've only had the chance to live stream it once, but at which you guys should go and enjoy my live streams. But uh, you know, th this game, I'm definitely getting my money's worth out of it. I have a blast playing it. It's so much fun. It's difficult as hell, and it's not for the faint of heart. But it's it's such a good game to play. Don't complain about resolution, man. Look, the game released, it runs beautifully. It has no, like, as far as I, I've played, there's been no glitches on the game. I've had no problems with the game. You know, it's I, like, it it could it could have been the Cyberpunk situation, right? Like, a Cyberpunk release, and it it's broken. You know, it's it doesn't run well. It, it runs like shit on the PS4, on the Xbox One. You know, like, it's broken as hell on the PS5. It was constantly crashing. Uh, you know, like, it could have been that kind of situation, but it's not. You know, you have... You have a game released, and guess what? It works. And you're complaining about resolution? Complain about stuff when there's something to complain about. Don't complain about stuff that doesn't really matter so much. This is Chris at Goshen's Games. Signing out. Nah. Look, go watch Rich's video. I'll link it down below. I'm not playing it for you guys because I don't want him to strike it or whatever. I don't I don't think he would. He doesn't strike me as the person that, that would. Um, let me know your takes down below. Do you care about resolution? I, I don't. I, I still play my Steam games. I, I got a 2070 on my PC. I still play Steam games at 1080. You know, like, I, I don't care about resolution. But let me know. Sound off in the comment section. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out.